Property taxes are hitting homeowners hard, and I've got a lot of clients that are reaching out to me to assist them with protesting their home's assessed value, and I wanted to share with you how you can do that as well. So by now, you should have received your notice of appraised value, and you're probably shocked at how much that home value has gone up. Well, you don't have to take the appraisal district's word for it. They give you the opportunity to protest that amount. And you've got a couple of options for that. Most counties will allow you to file that protest electronically, or you can just print out a form, fill it out, and either mail it in or deliver it in person. The deadline to submit your protest is May 15th. So you've got a little less than a month to do that. You don't wanna be sitting on this too long. First and foremost, if this is your primary residence, you wanna make sure that you've got that homestead exemption filed on that property. This will not only reduce the amount of taxes that you owe, but it also protects you on how much that county appraisal district can increase your assessed value. For homestead properties, they're capped at 10%. If this is an investment property or a second home, there's no cap. They can go up 30, 40% if they really wanted to. So make sure if this is primary residence, you file that homestead exemption as soon as possible. Now, in terms of the protest form itself, there's a couple of sections that I really wanted to highlight. Section four is the additional facts. This is where you have the option to put in what your opinion of the home's value is. And then right below that, you're gonna put in the facts that help support your value and will help resolve the protest. Now, keep in mind, as much as I wanna stick it to the man, you've gotta realize this is an entity that is going to fight hard to try to maintain the values they placed on your home because that means more tax revenue for them. So you wanna be as realistic as possible. If homes in your neighborhood are selling for five, 550, 600,000, you can't come in and say, my home is only worth $200,000 it's not going to work. You wanna provide them with relevant and good data and comps to really support your value. Section five is hearing type. This gives you the opportunity to request an informal conference before the protest hearing. You wanna do this if you can, because this is your opportunity to present your case and come to an agreement directly with the appraisal district. Going that formal route, it's a lot more difficult to have success with. Make sure you also ask them for evidence because this will give you clarity on what comps they use to come up with a value for your property. They could have used comps in a completely different neighborhood or maybe they only used comps on updated homes when yours hasn't been updated in the last 20 years. Having as much ammo as possible will give you a better chance of success. The section also goes over how you would like to appear in the appraisal review board hearing. You can go in person or do it via phone conference, video conference, or submit a written affidavit with evidence before the hearing begins. My recommendation here is always go in person. The appraisal review board hearing process will begin May 17th and it typically lasts about 15 minutes. Both the property owner and a representative from the appraisal district will present their evidence and take questions from members of the appraisal review board panel. The property owner will receive a notice of final order three to four weeks after their hearing. If you've got questions about the protest process or you need help gathering data and comps to support your case, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, let me know whatever it is I can do to help you save money on your taxes.